I found more than a few stories about travelers being attacked in the surrounding woods. By what? What is it about sci-fi horror, about this genre that lends itself to discussions about social injustice, about racial injustice? A Lovecraft Country is deconstructing this classic genre and reimagining it in a very bold and audacious way, you know, and censoring Black voices in a genre that we've been shut out from for so long. And I think the conversation that we as you know, the globe is having the BLM protests internationally. You know, we're fighting two pandemics right now because the systemic racism that this nation and other nations have been built upon is yet to be dismantled. We've yet to heal from it. It's wide enough to carry it and it doesn't make people uncomfortable, right? I mean, we divide ourselves here in America, red or blue, you're Republican or Democrat. You separate yourself, right? You, you watch CNN, you watch Fox, you watch MSNBC. You know, you, we have all these camps. Genre takes all those ideas and puts them all under the same filter, right? And then people subscribe to that filter. And in doing so, it allows more people to take it in. And then you take topics that feel so binary as systemic racism, right? And you put it through that filter and it allows everybody to see it, right? From their point of view, but they finally see it and they deal with it. What is reality? And writers, since they've been writing speculative fiction with sci-fi and with horror, they have been dealing with what we are paranoid about as human beings and have used the symbolism, the tropes of horror to work that out through that fiction. And actually H.P. Lovecraft himself, he was working out his paranoia about Black people through his fiction. What we're doing is essentially taking the baton from him and working out our paranoia and justified paranoia about white supremacy. This is an invitation to unmitigated power. As a British Nigerian woman, was there a difference in how you approached this, this very specific material that's so specific to the American experience? The approach is always the same, like do your research, respect and honor the history of the people that you're representing. I think it's our duty as artists to kind of build bridges and talk about the larger issues that affect us all. I mean, I am a Black woman living in America. I'm not African-American. and I don't have the cellular memory of the ancestors and the history here, but I do have uh, experience of being Black in America. And But I think it's important to tackle the, the huge oppressor and poison of white supremacy that is a factor in all of our lives. I know. We were all meant to go through trials and tribulations. Why this world is haunting us? This show in particular, does it feel kind of serendipitous that it's coming out right now? Yes, I think it's a great time to, to tell human stories through the Black experience. And I think that it's been time, a long time coming. It's important for people to, to give people the opportunity to see themselves as part of the human race. It's just a good time to show human stories through other cultural experiences of life. You know, I'm pro-black, obviously. <laughs> I, I, I can't pass to nothing else, so I better be pro-black. <laughs> Lovecraft Country. Bad place. It's not real. You sure? I'm grateful that we actually finished before the pandemic hit. I think it's an important uh, piece for us all to see so that we can actually see examples of what uh, what we're living out. It's rich and vivid and it's in chocolate. That's the beautifulness of it all, is that we're seeing a chocolate world. And we don't usually see that with a big budget series. It's about heroes who get to go on adventures, defeat the monsters, and save the day. Well, I think the genre at its best is when there's a metaphor. It's the metaphor on top of the thing, the real thing you're exploring. So even in episode, one, this idea of sundown towns. So you can't be black after dark in these towns. Like that's a horror movie right there. That is the real life horror. What is our metaphor on top of that? Oh, vampires. What is our version of vampires for the show? And then to play all of that and the monsters show up and you're almost relieved because the human monsters are 
terrible, even worse than the real actual monsters are. Some might call it protest art, but honestly, we're just telling the truth. We're just exposing the horrors that this nation's been built upon. We're exposing the ugly sides of it, but also displaying us as Black Americans in our full living, breathing, fleshed out selves, you know, full dimensional characters who, in spite of their oppression, are fighting to maintain their dignity, are fighting to maintain their joy, are people who laugh, are people who make love. And Lovecraft Country really, at its heart, is really a family drama. This is our family story. It's a story about family in search of family, family trying to protect family, family holding secrets from family, family estranged from family. And it's exciting to me to be a part of a project that is so radical in that way.